beautiful humans, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tessa Stewart and today I will be doing a review for you. So today I will be reviewing the Dyson Corral Hair Straightener. She retails for a whopping $499. <laughs> so basically $500 for a hair straightener. It's made by the company Dyson, if you're familiar. They um, make a lot of houseware products, so like vacuums, um, air purifiers, and stuff like that. They started venturing out into hair tools. I know the first thing I think they had was the supersonic blow dryer. I did buy and try that, I did not like it. <laughs> they also have the air wrap and now the straightener. Now I purchased this from Sephora. I actually purchased it back in May, okay? Right now it is September, so I can give you a really good, honest review. I have filmed this <laughs> this uh, review previously, but I didn't like how it turned out, but I've also noticed a few things that I'd love to talk to you about today with my hair as well that I think are um, important. So I'm actually kind of glad that it took this long to do it. So we're about to get into the specs of the product, but really quickly before we move any further, make sure you hit that like button. Also hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you're alerted with my future uploads. And um, let's get right into it. All right, so I'm gonna read the description straight from Sephora's website and it says, a straightener with flexing plates to give you the ultimate in control to achieve styling with less heat, reduced frizz, and fewer flyaways. So the key benefits are that it's cord free, 50% um, less breakage, frizz, flyaways. It's supposed to check the temperature 100 times per second. I don't even know how that's possible, but because it's regulated like that, it's supposed to use less heat to straighten your hair um, than a standard hair straightener. And it takes about, for the first charge, it takes about 70 minutes to charge it. And the charge lasts about 30 minutes. So the unique thing about this hair dryer is it's corded, guys. So majority hair dryer, flat iron. Majority flat irons, obviously, you know, um, you plug them into the wall. This one comes with a handy dandy base that it rests into. It also comes with a travel pouch, it's very nice. Um, it's convenient for travel and then it also is safe for travel. There's a little uh, removable piece that you take out if you wanna take this on the plane with you. As you can tell, I have my hair freshly washed and blow dried. <laughs> I look like a crazy person. So this is my hair freshly blow dried. Um, I just blow dried it. To blow dry my hair, I use Kerastase um, Discipline Heat Protectant. I, I leave the spray-in leave-in conditioner. I use the heat protectant cream. I also use the Ultimate Oil from <laughs> Kerastase. And that's just before I blow dry. So now I'm going to straighten my hair. We're gonna go into it, we're gonna check it out and see how it works for us. So first what I like to do is take, even though I have that um, oil in, I put it in before I blow dry, I put some more in oil in before I flat iron. So just a little bit of that serum. Um, I also like the Olaplex bonding oil as well. So just a couple drops and then I just push that through my hair and then i take um my neuro finish it's another thermal heat protectant from paul mitchell the neuro and i spray that through my hair listen i'm all about heat protectant simply because um my hair is my natural hair is curly and when it gets wet it reverts and when it gets wet i want it to revert i really don't really care too much about I don't wear it out too much natural every once in a while but I don't want my hair damaged per se like I don't care I really I'm not too big on whether or not my texture loosens but generally when that happens sometimes you get breakage so I try to prevent that now what I can tell you is that from using this product over time I have really noticed the difference in my hair my Hairstylist has also noticed the difference in my hair, and I will tell you those key differences at the end of the video. So before we get started, I'm just gonna show you how it works. Now, remember, I have had this for months now, right? So one of the cool features, there's a little button that helps it stay shut. Okay, a little button here. Then to turn it on, you press the power button, and then it cuts on. 
and then you have to adjust the power. So it has three temperatures and the three temperatures are 330, 365, and 410. I flat iron my hair on 410. If you can manage to do a lower temperature, you do that. It doesn't work for me. The charge on this only lasts for 30 minutes. I personally can get my hair done within 30 minutes. I don't know about anyone else, but I'm gonna start with the back section. I'm gonna show you how I go about doing that. And once I get to the front, I'll slow it down and we'll actually look at the difference between my hair. Okay guys, so in this clip, you can see that I am flat ironing my hair. Obviously this is an older clip, clearly because I'm wearing something different. This is actually the footage from the very first time that I flat ironed my hair with the Dyson. So this is from May and you can see the difference in my hair. That's why I left this footage and not the new footage. So you'll be able to see that yes, the shine does come through, but I don't have the movement that I have now or that I had previously. So um, during this time, I'm actually nursing my hair back to health because it's just very dry for some reason. But after four months of using the Dyson, you will see exactly how my hair has transformed. Okay, so now we're at the front. Two sections, I have half a battery left and I'm just gonna show you what I do to the front portion. So take this part and I just wanna show you because you can even get the smaller pieces of hair from what I've experienced. Like I used to use a separate flat iron for my edges and I've, I've just stopped one because it's just not necessary for me, but I'm just gonna show you a piece of hair. And then on the sides in the front, I just do one pass per section. In the back, I generally do two. So that's one. Next section, and you see how large of a section I can get with this. You see that? One pass, one pass, okay? Let's do it again. So I take another section, right? This is a large, this is a pretty large section. I don't know if you, if you can tell, right? So you take that section here, and if you can see it, and then I'm gonna go in the flat iron, get at the root, and then I put my comb in so I can follow, and then I follow the rest of the way down. And that's it. I'm just gonna do that for the rest of my head. I'll probably speed through it and let you watch. So one quick thing that I wanted to show you guys is that I can get pretty close to my roots um, using this thing. It's like, I'm not sure if it's because of the design of how the uh, straightener is or whatnot, but I can get all the way down to the root. Like I can almost rest this on my scalp, like parallel to my scalp um, without being burned. It really, I don't know if it's because of the positioning of the plates by them being within the uh i'll show you the design once i'm finished so you can really understand but if you look like all right so this is the section i'm gonna get all the way in here and then like for the front that's what i do i get all the way at the root and then just follow it through and because of how it's curved when you do this you can get that good like bump under without it looking like too much, you know what I mean? Guys, my bob is growing out. When I went to get my hair done like two weeks ago, the back was completely grown out and I had to get her to cut the back, but I'm gonna let the front just grow out. But I think that's the end of this style. section guys Thank you. 
All right, guys, so I'm completely finished and I have a quarter of the battery left. So this is freshly flat ironed hair using the Dyson. As you can see, I have a lot of movement. Really quickly, my thoughts on the Dyson. When I first purchased this, um, this utensil, tool, whatever you want to call it, the straightener, when I first purchased it, I didn't have a lot of faith. I, I really didn't, but I really wanted to give it a try because I'm a lover of gadgets. Um, gadgets are my thing. So when I saw that it was coming out and I read all the specs, I was like, mm, that's interesting. The thing that appealed to me the most was the fact that it was cordless because I've had some run-ins with the cord, okay? I have hit the cord, flat iron has fell, fallen, or snagged the cord and grabbed the flat iron and burned myself, just numerous things. And then also when you're traveling, sometimes there's not a convenient outlet for you to plug the flat iron in in the bathroom and do your hair. So that was another thing. So with all of that being said, what I wanna say is I love it. I really, I didn't want to, but I do. I love this thing. Um, I bought it back in May as a like a Mother's Day gift to myself. Since using this, my hair has felt softer. I was dealing with a lot of health issues and my hair was struggling. I've always had pretty healthy hair. I've had a really good hair journey all my life. I've never really gone out of my way to take care of my hair. It just grew. I'm just be honest. Um, and then I started having some health complications and my hair <laughs> said no ma'am. <laughs> and um, I have recovered from like my edges fell out when I had my three year old and it took forever. And then once I finished breastfeeding after a year, so once he was actually one, the shedding happened again because I stopped breastfeeding and my hormones. But I have noticed since using this that my hair has been restored back to like its original luster. It's the movement is back, it's growing, or well, I'm retaining the length um, like I was previously. And even my hairdresser has noticed the feeling in my hair and she said that it's starting to feel stronger. So I'm actually about to stop keeping up with this bob and just grow it back out to the hairstyle that I used to wear all the time. Um, so I'm happy with that. Another thing, while I was doing my hair, I know I told you guys that I can get very close to the root. The way that the plates line up, I don't know if you can tell, the plates themselves are, let's say they're an inch wide, and then the portion that holds the outer part of, this, of the plates, this part, maybe let's say they're like a couple millimeters wider. So when you go all the way to your root, like you can rest this on your head because this doesn't get too terribly hot. Like does it get warm? Yes but not to the point where you're burning yourself. And that's how I'm able to get, you know, up on my edges. I don't worry about them too much. I, I'm not one of those people who's like real crazy about the edges. I'll do a little edge control when I first flat iron my hair, but that's about it. But yeah, so I love that you can get even your edges and that matters <laughs> for us naturalistas. Also, I took this flat iron with me on vacation and it is convenient. The cordless aspect of it is very convenient. I used it in the hotel room. The outlet wasn't the best placement. I was able to sit at the vanity comfortably and flat on my hair. The only thing is, this is kind of junky, lunky. Like you're not really gonna pack. I didn't pack this. I mean, it just takes up space. But not only that, but I was running late one day and I was going to a funeral. I literally had to flat iron my hair because it got wet and reverted. I had to flat iron my hair in the car. Like I've, <laughs> I have come into some tricky situations where the cordless aspect has greatly been appreciated by me. I do love the feel of my hair. I love this thing. I say that if you can afford it, if it's not a financial burden, if it's not going without your means, if you're not going with debt, into debt, like don't put this sucker on a credit card or anything like that, okay? If it's affordable for you, I say do it. It's an investment. If you are a person who straightens their hair all the time, I, I love it. Like I have two other flat irons. I have the flat iron by the dryer bar and I also have the Neuro by Paul Mitchell. 
I used both of them and I loved both of them, but I love this one even more. And another thing is my hairdresser, she uses like the Paul Mitchell Neuro, the same stuff. And then we use the same products on my hair for the most part. And when I go and get my hair done by her, I can feel the difference in the my hair when between when she straightens it and when I straighten it. Now, her fin the finish to my hair looks professional, obviously, because she is a professional, but there's a difference in the hair and the, the movement that I can tell. And I, I think the because we use the same products, I really do think the difference is the Dyson. My thoughts on the Dyson after giving it a fair May, June, July, August, September, four month review. I mean, I flat iron my hair weekly, okay? So every week since I got it in May, I have been flat ironing my hair with it and I enjoy it. Um, I enjoy it a lot. So I give it two thumbs up. <laughs> If you're interested in it, if you straighten your hair a lot, if you travel a lot and the cordless aspect works for you, um, then I say get it. If the cordless aspect really isn't a selling point for you, if um, you, know, you don't straighten your hair as much as I do, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Honestly, you can get away with like the Paul Mitchell Neuro or the Dry Bar Flat Iron. I loved both of them. Um, they did very well for my hair. So I would suggest them as alternatives to this one. If you're using it like a regular consumer and you're not a traveler and you don't flat iron your hair as much. So I hope that you enjoyed today's video. I really enjoyed this. This is something different. I know I do a lot of tutorials. <laughs> <laughs> but hopefully I'm looking to do more reviews in the future. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you're alerted with my future uploads. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.